Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about union of sets and its properties. First of all, we should learn what is the union of sets. Union of two sets A and B is the set that contains all those elements which are either in A or in B or both in A and B. That is, A union B is a set containing the elements X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Now let us see an example for this. Here, let A is a set containing the elements 1, 2 and 3 and B is a set containing the elements 3 and 4. Then, A union B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now you can see here that A union B is a set that contains all those elements which are either in A or in B or both in A and B. And the element which is common to both the sets, that is 3 here, is written once. Now next, we will discuss properties of union of sets. First property is if A and B are two sets, then A union B is equal to B union A, which is called the commutative law. Now let us see an example for this. Here, let A be a set containing the elements 1 and 2 and B be a set containing the elements 3 and 4. Then, A union B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 and B union A is a set containing the elements 3, 4, 1 and 2. As order of the elements doesn't matter, therefore A union B is equal to B union A. Now the second property is let A, B and C are three sets then a union B the whole union C is equal to A union B union C the whole and this is called the associative law. Now let us discuss one example for this here. Let A be a set containing the elements 1 and 2. B is a set containing the elements 3 and 4 and C is a set containing the elements 5 and 6. Now, A union B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. Also, A union B the whole union C is equal to A union B which is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 union C, which is the set containing the elements 5 and 6, which is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, B union C is a set containing the elements 3, 4, 5 and 6, also 
A union B union C the whole is equal to A, which is the set containing the elements 1 and 2, union B union C, which is the set containing the elements 3, 4, 5 and 6, which is equal to the union of these two sets, which is the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now these two sets are equal, therefore A union B, the whole union C, is equal to A union B union C, the whole. Now the next property is if A and B are two sets, then A is a subset of A union B and B is a subset of A union B. Now as you can see here, A is the set containing the elements 1 and 2, B is a set containing the elements 3 and 4 and A union B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. So now, a set containing the elements 1 and 2 is a subset of a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4, which implies A is a subset of A union B. And also, a set containing the elements 3 and 4 is a subset of a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4, which implies B is a subset of a union B. Now the next property is for two sets A and B if A is a subset of B then A union B is equal to B. Now let us take an example for this. Here if A is a subset of B, for example, set A, which is a set containing the elements 1 and 2, and B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4, then A union B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now here we have taken A is a subset of B and we are getting A union B is equal to a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 which is equal to the set B. Therefore, if A is a subset of B then A union B is equal to B. Now the next property is a set A union empty set which is noted by phi is equal to set A. Now let us see one example in this let A be a set containing the elements 1 and 2 and phi is an empty set. Therefore, phi is a set with no elements. Therefore, A union phi is equal to A, which is a set containing the elements 1 and 2, union the empty set, which is equal to a set containing the elements 1 and 2, and this is equal to the set A. Therefore, A union phi is equal to A. Sixth property is, if A is a set, then A union A complement is equal to the universal set which is denoted by xi. Now let us discuss an example for this. 
Here, let the universal set is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And A is a set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Now A complement will be the set containing the elements of universal set which are not in A. So those elements which are not in A are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So this means A complement will be the set containing the elements 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Now, A union A complement will be equal to the union of these two sets which is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And this set is equal to this set which is equal to the universal set. Therefore, A union A complement is equal to the universal set. So in this session we have learnt about union of sets and its properties. This completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session. Yeah.